Fair is Saturday, August the making this. I believe. Um, I was about to say return to create again. I should know better. Um, no, we had thirty one. Thirty one. Um, Kate, okay, brilliant. Your, I am your host. Of scraps of life. Uh, how are you? How are you doing? That I may not know what day or week it is, but I do know that I hope well. Um, I have had a busy week with not necessarily a lot to show for it. You know how you know how sometimes that happens. We know we've been busy, but at the same time, it's all been on like you know background, back end, uh, you know, non visible. So yeah, that's that's been. In fact, it wasn't until a couple of nights ago that I got any fiber work done. Um, so I'll show you the progress so far on um, <clears throat> the sweater. It's <laughs> because I've I've been folding it and crumpling it. And it's okay. It'll it'll come out fine. Um, but yeah, so it has it has shoulder straps now and like taping around armholes. So it's not just some interesting pattern fabric. <laughs> so yeah, I'm happy about that. I'll talk more about that in a moment. It's relevant. Um, I also want to share that I uh, I got my stickers in that I created from the Just Desserts signs. Very happy about that. Um, these are printed by Printful. Uh, the quality seems good. The co I'm happy with uh, you know, how the colors come out. I want to make a couple of small tweaks before I hear about uh, the shop, the merch shop. It's not really, yeah, it's a, it's a shop. It's, um, you know, I want to also wait for, I was hoping they'd be in by now, but they're not. Yeah, the dresses that I created with those same items, those images from Just Desserts. Um, I later dresses by pr printed by and shipped by Printful for, uh, early this week, the coming week. So I should be Saturday. Um, if all goes well, if everything fits, <laughs> then I'll probably be wearing one next Saturday. Um, other than that, like I said, it's been a lot of background admin nuts and bolts just oh that's just just been stuff um and so there's not there's a lot of uh creative update although again i have been creative i have been working on it i um uh oh update on the computer situation for um last week when uh we spoke i was telling you about how the computer had just gone pfft, and um, I had not yet tried to resurrect desktop machine. Well, um, if you saw the little spoiler note in the last week description, then you would have seen the fact that yes, in fact, uh, by while I, this was uploading, I did in fact get the desktop to come back up. I was able to copy over the files my external hard drives and yeah so all that's good i decided to I don't remember if i had decided this last week or not but i decided to stick with hot laptop 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 like a little no a laptop although now now that laptop might have a name might have to call it bunny after that slip <laughs> there are worse things there are worse things um no. After all of that, I decided that I was going to stick with laptop as my primary. Um, I'm still debating whether or not you know to like maybe maybe the the desktop is worth like donating or something after I give it a thorough wiping of information. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's donated school or you know I don't know I don't know I don't. Know. Um, but you know, it may uh may see about that. 
Uh, but I'm probably going to wait like three to six months more just to make sure I didn't forget anything else off of that machine or that something else doesn't happen. Um, having a backup is good. Yeah, so that's all good. I recovered all my files, which I was very happy about. Um, again, there wasn't, there wasn't a tremendous amount of stuff that I would have lost. I couldn't have. Um, but I'm very, very glad that's been resolved. Uh, so yeah, part of, part of this week was, um, ordering and, uh, waiting for it to come in and everything up so that the laptop is now as a dock. Um, and so less things are plugged directly in the laptop, you know, when it's time to actually go mobile with the laptop when I travel, as I can work that. And uh, I also have, um, monitors set up. I'm waiting for one cable up the final monitor. But yeah, so all that's going well. Um, yeah, so it's like anticlimactic, but in a good way. <laughs> that's what I'm going to call that. Now, because of everything that was going on and all the background stuff, um, I will tell you that I cried twice this not that we're going to start keeping track because, you know, I, thanks to meds and, and, and a better life environment, better work environment, um, I, uh, I, I don't have near the amount of emotional breakdowns or upsets that uh, at one point. So um, that being said, this week was a little one was absolutely frustration due to the back end of aforementioned uh, web shop. Just integration issues. Having to, it seemed like I was having to needlessly replicate work that was already done. Understand why I had to do, it or how one was supposed to do it with sort of efficiency. Or anything that had to do with like shipping rates um, from the print on demand fighter versus the shopping cart or you know, the, you know, the side thing. Why can't it not copy or carry over? And it turned out that it can, it just couldn't by the platform that I had chosen, which I had chosen for both familiarity. Um, I, I'd found it easy to use before, but that was when I was handling my own product. A fulfillment house very different and uh, yeah it created it created more headaches price tag basically earth and so while I'm not proud of this being oh, um yes in the past there have been in where it's been like okay we've a point of frustration ever whatever level that falls at it is just no longer I mean it's just untenable, it is no longer acceptable, so we're going to throw money at the book. Um, of course, I don't have a lot of money to throw around these days because um, and uh, I'm trying to, you know, I, I'm trying to improve that situation and yeah, but this was a nominal expense. It's also with a company that I'm familiar with, I've used before again on my own stuff, um, so but they offered a more seamless integration with the print-on-demand so sometimes it does come to that make or buy decision in this big buy decision where you get what you pay for maybe um you know free options relatively free um so upfront costs cost more time and energy and in my case frustration and tears and i was kind of over that <laughs> so yeah that got straightened out the other was last night um and it's neither here nor there the reason. It was more that I was up way late and untangling yarn. We'll circle back to that. And apparently at 3 a.m. when I'm untangling yarn, and have been an hour or more, um, I get filled And, you know, we have to do this. Self work. We have to, we have to understand ourselves and our motivation, 
are the driving force in us in order to back to this point. Regardless of what we're doing, not even work at all, but our personal having a know what's going on in our brain, you know? And uh over the years I've become pretty adept at unpacking my issues. Um, the most recent uh, psychotherapy also helped that kind of helped, you know, excavate a layer deeper and uh, even though I'm not seeing my that's nothing nothing that had to do with him, everything that had to do with insurance stress. Um, I, I was able to, you know, go another level deeper and, and uncover things. And so while I was wool gathering, while, oh, great, cotton blend, cotton gathering? No, we're not, we're not going to follow that metaphor any further. Um, <laughs> while I was untangling things, I realized that that was the brilliance of thought. Your thoughts on brilliance. Brilliance is a and by that I it not linear. It's not a straight shot. And sometimes we have to deal with snarls, knots, and rush through them. Because if we do, we're going to sacrifice more than more than we have. That's where the sweater project comes back to play. So I am playing a game of yarn chain. What I mean, um, you know the whole like game of chicken, I guess start on roads, maybe been around for even longer than that. But I'm thinking like I think the earliest reference that I'm aware of culturally like drag strips or a racing on like the cars you know they're they're coming closer and closer and closer due for a head-on collision and it's it's a game of basically who's going to chicken out first um i know i've seen cool versions of it played i think you know where one partner is on the other partner's shoulders and using sides in their hat but i don't know i don't know if that's the same Anyway, yarn chicken is when you're starting a project knowing that you have just enough yarn, or you believe that you have just enough yarn. And so what happens is when you get to the end of a project, it's a game to see. It's a game, you know, it, it, it's a, it, you're, you're taking your, your knitting life or your crochet life into your own hands uh, or putting it in the, the hands of the yarn gods because you're like, okay, am I gonna, am I gonna get to the end of the pattern? Or the end of the row sometimes before the yarn runs out and that's what yarn chicken is well i know that i have just enough of the, according to all the i should have just enough just barely enough butter um with the sleeve as written without substituting adding some yarn to it i have six balls of the yarn to start with um, and, and that seems to be enough. However, you know, um, and uh, yeah, I'm being very uh, careful and conscientious with the amount of yarn that I have. That being said, um, I have, I'm on the fourth ball of, and that leaves one ball for each leaf. And these are good. It's the cold shoulder uh, sweater, so it's their straps, and then the part about here and go down. Um, there's a possibility, you know, the length of ultimate on how much yarn I have. Yeah, yeah. Um, that so I may end up having to frog some of it and well, frogging because ripping, like ribbit, ribbit, you're ripping, rip it, rip it. Unlike whip it, whip it, which that that's a whole thing. That 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 actually came up at, at work today. We were like, what, what a whip made out of merino wool actually, you know, do any would it do any 
good. Um, mostly because we were just like cracking the whip on somebody, not any else. But anyway, so that that that's kind of a thought that has come full circle for today. Um, that being said, oh, I never pulled the microphone down. I hope. Well, I hope that we're able to hear all of this. Um, if I change it now, then everybody's volumes have to shift. So yeah, we'll just. Um, that being said, I was also at a point where I was adding the shoulder straps and basically this is a custom measurement. Um, the pattern doesn't tell you how many, it just tells you to figure out how long you want your shoulder straps and to make them even on both sides. <laughs> Makes sense, right? Um, but you do one strap and then you do the other to complete them. And because, again, I'm kind of, I know that I'm going to end up playing yarn chicken by the end of this. All right. I don't think you can hear the lawnmower in the background, which is good. Um, <laughs> I did not want to do one shoulder and then do the other. I wanted to do kind of both at one time. So when I split off for the front, I did the front section and then I did the back section, but I used the same ball of yarn and I worked from the inside of the ball for one side and the outside for the other. That way I was working from both ends heading towards the middle and worst case scenario, I would stop whenever I got to that join and that would just dictate how thick the straps could be or how high or low the back and front. And be I, I made this bargain with myself because I thought it was the most economical use of the yarn. And so far it's worked out good. It just, um, when you get down to the little bits of yarn left that are in the middle, they get a little, they can get a little tangly, especially if you like put a, the, the garment on a, a dress dummy or, or try it on, things get, things get um, tangled up. That's, that's how this is all coming around. Um, the other thing I didn't really want to do was have to cut the yarn at any point because if I cut it in the wrong place, then there's a certain amount of loss involved with either having to tie it back together to continue a row or a section or having to overlap it as you would a normal join and you're losing, you know, precious inches. And so when you know that you're going to be playing yarn chicken, when you know that you have barely enough resources to accomplish the task at hand, you don't want to squander them. You want to be as smart about it as you can. And that's why I was willing to spend an hour and a half or more just untwisting and untangling and doing this here, this there, um, unsnarling this ridiculous section of yarn um it's why the time was worth it and so again that led to, to some introspection and that was that was worth it too that was important but um i think it's a good metaphor for any time we're trying to take a step deeper into ourselves or create something it a life or a job or a product or a goal you know we're trying to reach a goal it all works to that end where it's not gonna always be steps a b c on through z sometimes it's gonna get tangled up and you're gonna need to go back and forth and you might realize that in the process of completing a b and c and x y and z the element OP in the middle is all jumbled up and you've got to untangle that. So brilliance this week is a tangle, but tangles can be untangled. They can be detangled. I don't know if untangled is a word, but we know from hair care that detangle is a word. They can be combed out. They can be out. You know, it may take time and which I'm not known for the patient side time yes I got um it's just and I, I think I, I talked about this 
a few weeks ago, um, I'm looking at my recent titles, and it's like, week 25, we talked about setbacks. Is a tangle a setback, or is a tangle a breathing space? Tangles are no fun. Um, they can hurt. You know, if it's like your hair, if you get knots in your hair, tangles in your hair, you're trying to comb it out or something, that can hurt. That can hurt. It can, it can hurt to have to stop your forward momentum to untangle something. But it can also serve as a signal that we need to take a break. Last night, the signal was that I needed to go to bed, but I did not want to walk away from the yarn and come, you know, and, and come back to my desk today to this big old mess. I wanted to be able, whether I was packing it up to move it aside to work on something else, or if I was going to pick it up and continue on with the, the shoulder straps and the rest of the sweater, I wanted to be able to come back to a good place rather than dreading waking up to a snarl, you know, waking up to a tangle. Um, but sometimes it can be good, and, it, and those breaks and those pauses give us time to reconnect with ourselves, reconnect with our goals, reconnect with other people. That's appropriate. So, yeah, sometimes brilliance is tangled web. But in brilliance, we do not deceive. I know, I'm, I'm, I, I could go way off course with that. Well, we're not going to do that. But you can think on that. If you have thoughts on that, let me know, by all means. Um, I always, as always, I appreciate y'all, like, coming and, and hanging out with me while I, while I share what I've been up to and, 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 and uh, kind of wax poetic or not. On, uh, on progress or lack thereof. Lots of caveats, lots of parentheticals, lots of everything. I appreciate y'all so much. And I, I really do honestly hope that you are doing well, that you are taking the time for yourself, that you are doing what you can to further your own goals, and when it comes to furthering the goals of others, I think that you are only furthering the goals of others that are important to you as well. Either their goal is important to you or the person. Sometimes those two are opposed or opposite. They are, or they are exclusive from one another. You not like the goal, but you like the person, and so you support the person. Uh, and vice versa. Sometimes... Sometimes that line can't be crossed, but you know what I mean. We all have things. The people that we care about, they have their own things. And uh, we may not agree on everything, but we know that we can support one another as best we can as human beings. So I hope that, any, that, that when I come on here and I... I hope that something I say helps you in a way to further your own goals, to further your own dreams. I have to come to, co to grips frequently with the fact that while I am on my own self-employed, I am far from on my own as a self-employed. Um, not only are there lots of us out there who are on our own form, We all exist in a world together, and we are interdependent on each other for the world. So, you know, parents say, make good choices, and not wrong. <laughs> but what might seem like a good, good, good idea and good choice right now, hindsight is what it is, and we all know that saying. Anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Thank you for checking in with me. I'd love to hear what you um I I I well in the week ahead, the last event of summer. For some of us. Some of us summer is gonna continue for a while. Um, but you know, I know school is starting back, so if you have school aged children or you are a teacher otherwise involved in staff, faculty, um, or support. 
then you're going to fall back in aha fall back they're going to fall back into place and cameras those of us who are pepper roll removed from that um i still think rhythms of fall as opposed to summer that transition phase one for us and i know i still feel it you'll feel that settling in fall as opposed to hectic or or been you know bowls i'm looking forward to the fall i'm looking forward to being back here next week for another brilliant always or be afraid world see